Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my resin belt buckles. I start by cutting out a pattern. You can print one out, draw one yourself, or skip this step altogether and get straight to sculpting. Now I'm getting out my oven baked clay and rolling it flat to about the size of the pattern, then cutting out the shape with an X-Acto knife. After that, I'm rounding out the edges and sculpting it to the desired shape. You can add any details you want depending on the character or your design. You can also add texture with sandpaper or other textured objects or tools. After you're happy with what you've done, follow the instructions for the clay, bake it, and let it cool. Once it's cooled down, I mix equal parts of amazing mold putty. You can get this at Michael's, craft stores, and online. It's really easy to work with and a little goes a long way. Make sure you follow the instructions, and when you're done thoroughly mixing it, press and shape it around what you want to make a mold of. After waiting the required time on the instructions, it should be a rubbery mold. Get three disposable cups and put on a pair of gloves to protect your hands from any chemicals. To measure, I like to mark a popsicle stick, then use it to mark the inside of the two cups. When you have them marked, you can pour resin part A into one and part B into another, measuring equal parts. Then mix them thoroughly and quickly for about 30 seconds. I usually do it until I feel the cup getting warm, but I advise you to follow the instructions provided with the product. Once it's mixed, carefully pour it into the mold. I am using the popsicle stick to balance uneven sides. If you made a big mold and need more resin to fill it, just mix more and pour it in until the mold is full. Since this video is sped up, you can clearly see the resin hardening and turning white. Wait until the resin fully hardens and cools before you remove it from the mold. Then gently and carefully peel the mold off the now hardened resin. The cool thing about resin is it's completely solid, but you can sand it. Sanding helps remove flaws such as overflow and makes the smooth back of the resin easier to hold paint. For the little bar in the middle of the buckle, I'm just going to cut and glue on two popsicle sticks with super glue. Then I'm going to paint the base coat solid black. Then I'm lightly brushing on silver paint to make it look like metal, then weather it with some brown and gold acrylic craft paint. 
You don't have to, but you can also paint the back. Since I don't have anything thicker, I just use metal wire and bend and cut it. You can skip this step and fake it with a trimmed down popsicle stick, then just glue the buckle straight to the belt. But I wanted to show other options, and keep it as quick and simple as possible. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You can resin cast all kinds of things for cosplay, such as buckles, jewelry, and even props. And it's a lot more lightweight and durable than clay. Huge shout out to Purple Shala for the wonderful music. I have a Jack Sparrow makeup, wig, and full costume tutorial if you want to check those out. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye!